On Saturday, May 18th and Sunday, May 19th, the streets of downtown Lake Orion were filled with flowers, many forms of unique art, families, and activities to celebrate the return of the Art and Flower Fair. With over 100 vendors present, live music, artist demonstrations, crafts, and delicious treats available, shoppers had the chance to meet local artists and find something unique for their homes and gardens. The warm weather and fair skies made the weekend a record-breaking success and a great way for those attending to support the Orient Arts Center while enjoying what the community has to offer. Yeah, this is one of the, the biggest years. I think this beautiful weather, we were due for a good art and flower fair uh, weather weekend. So I definitely think the sunshine is bringing people out. Um, we've done a really good job with marketing and all of the vendors, we um, sent all of our marketing stuff out to them. So they've been sharing it and sharing it. And I think that has piqued a lot of interest in the area. And of course our partners with On TV and Orient Review have done such a great job um, marketing and advertising for us too. I think it's gonna be a really big weekend. So can you tell us about some of the flowers that you have here? We have two different kinds of flowers uh, on this side of the road and then on the other. All the flowers here, the pots, everything, all the proceeds go towards the Orient Art Center. These are from harvest time, so they bring them over here and then we get part of the proceeds and part of it goes to harvest time. But the ones on this side of the street all were donated to us and we get to keep the 100%. The Orient Art Center is in its fourth year hosting the event after taking it over from the Lake Orient DDA. But the Art and Flower Fair has been a staple in the downtown area for 24 years. The fair grows every year with proceeds allowing the Art Center opportunities to support artists of all ages with classes and other creative experiences. From paintings to vibrant flowers on every corner, and even one-of-a-kind yard art made from recycled materials, we talked to some of the artists that lined the streets of Flint and Broadway, sharing artwork while also telling the stories behind their pieces. Well, I take used and discarded tools, and I cut them up, bend them, weld them together to make yard art. My mom, I grew up with an artist for a mother and I was re gonna retire, uh, this was like three or four years ago, and my mother said, you need to do something, and she wanted me to do art, and so I knew how to weld. My father had taught me how to weld. So she just decided for me that I was going to start doing this yard art. Um, so I retired, and I've been making yard art. I have a shop that I in my home, and I, every day, that's what I do. How do you feel about these community events? Well, I love the community events. I'd rather do a show like this in like a downtown area than any other. Um, the turnout seems to be pretty good. It's a steady flow of people, and we couldn't ask for better weather, you know, so, yeah. They're clay pot people, I call them. They're made out of terracotta pots. And um, everything's freehand painted. There's no stencils or anything. It's all freehand. So what does it mean to be here at this event today um, in Lake Orion? Um, great, I was so glad I could do this show. Um, I, I did it um, two other times before, and it's been a great show. Can you tell us a little bit about the art that you have here today? Yeah, for sure. It is mostly Michigan subject matter, and the reason I do it is people travel all over Michigan, love Michigan, especially Mackinac Island, and when I can capture the essence of what they experience on a vacation, they buy a piece, they hang it in their home, and every time they look at it, they have these fond, warm memories. And that, that's why I do it, because Michigan's a beautiful place to live. What do events like these mean to you as an artist? What it does for me is I get out and I get to relate to people of all different walks of life, which is amazing, because out of all the things I've created, all of these people have been created by the ultimate artists. So I am literally looking at masterpieces of the Almighty. Well, today has just been an amazing day. Between the weather, the art, and the flowers, it has been a record-breaking turnout. Thanks to the Orient Art Center, this is just a preview of what's to come August 23rd through the 25th with the Dragon on the Lake. For more information, you can check out orientartcenter.org. I'm Lexi McKinney here in downtown Lake Orion with ONTV News.